So say you're at home, you're looking for some new genetics, and all of a sudden you see the word revert. What does revert mean? Does it make the mushroom special? What's so special about it? Does it affect potency? It's like, you know, your regular albino penis envy to an albino penis envy revert. Is there a potency difference? You know, the word revert is a hot topic today. A lot of you guys have been asking me about what reverts are and what's so special about them. And we're gonna get into everything revert right here in this video. So stay tuned, let's go. Dripping on acid in the hotel lobby. Everything moving hella fast, Ricky Bobby. Floating in the ethers. Listen to the ethers, you can probably tell the future. Superhuman man. What's going on, Chip Team? So, first of all, I want to welcome you guys back to a brand new video. Now, this is the first video of many videos to come in our new location. Now, the new location isn't 100% done, but this area is, so I'm able to start recording new content for you guys, which is extremely exciting. I'm super happy about it, but none of this would be possible without you guys watching these videos, liking, sharing, subscribing, but most importantly is supporting me over on Patreon. Patreon is the only way we support and keep these videos coming. That's how we support this movement. I don't make no money on YouTube. I don't make no money in any other areas when it comes to social media. The only area we can actually support and fund this is through Patreon. So if you guys go over to Patreon, you guys get all different types of benefits like access to our private Discord, which is one of the largest and best mycology and etheogen discords in the world, if you ask me. Um, you get one-on-one -on -one help, you get access to a private library that's uncensored. What I do right here, the videos I release on YouTube, I have to censor them, unfortunately. It just is what it is because YouTube will only allow certain things so we have to keep it YouTube friendly. So for all my uncensored videos, you guys have to go over to Patreon. I'm telling you, if you join Patreon, you will not regret it. The benefits you get over there, the community that's waiting for you over there stretches the globe. It's absolutely amazing. And if you're a Patreon supporter, I wanna thank you so much for all your love and support over there. With that said, all my social media is right here as always. If you don't see it right here on the side of me, it does not belong to me. A lot of fake accounts. I don't have a telegram. I don't sell anything. So if somebody's trying to sell you something, somebody's trying to tell you to reach out to them on telegram or something like that, it's 100% a scam. If you don't see it right here on the side of me, does not belong to me. This is my only social media accounts that I own. With that said, let's jump into the video. So this is gonna be a quick video, but very informative, and I think it's gonna help a lot of you guys out. So a lot of you guys have been reaching out to me and saying, Willie, what is a revert? What makes it special? If it reverts, isn't it just a regular mushroom? Wasn't what it was what made it special in the first place? Yes and no. So a revert is a really cool thing because it allows us to actually confirm the identity of certain hybrids. So for a long time, one of the things that we always stood by was how come PE looks like PE? Why does ape look like ape? It never changes. Always has that penis envy shape with the color. Why is it never the other way around? Why don't we see full size mushrooms growing? Well, now we do we see reverts. So in a way, it kind of confirms certain hybrids. So when we see a revert from a hybrid, that's a really strong positive that it might be what it is, which is really exciting. Now, a revert can also mean a mutation just reverted back to its original form also. So we'll see like ape OG, just for instance. I'm just using that one for instance. Typically, you're going to have that PE shape with a nice albino coloring, beautiful fungi, but then you'll see Ape OG Revert, which still has that albino, beautiful coloring, but we're getting full mushrooms that open up with veils and all of that good stuff. Now, one of the genetics that a lot of people are really, really interested in when it comes to reverts is Rusty Melmac Revert. I hear a lot of people talking about it. And the cool thing is we have some right here that I'm gonna show you guys. What's really cool about this cake is that we get the reverts, but we also have the regular Rusty Melmac growing on the same exact cake. So we're seeing the revert 
Plus we're seeing the regular mutation, which is extremely exciting. We're seeing both on the same cake and I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So check this out. This is some rusty Melmac Revert. Now, as you guys could see, we have regular looking mushrooms, you know, full caps, veils, they're gonna drop spores, all that good stuff. But then we have the Melmac looking fruits, which is like a PE shaped fruit on the same exact cakes. Here's some side by side, which is really, really exciting. You guys are getting to see the same exact mushroom, same exact genetic, but two entirely different physical features to the fruits. We have them short, fat, penis envy looking fruits, and then we have those tall, full body fruits. So generally, when you hear somebody talking about a revert, it typically means it reverted from its mutated form or back to its original physical look. So anytime you guys go online, you see ape revert, you guys see Melmac revert, you guys see this revert, Pretty much what it means is it reverted back to its original feature, what the mushroom originally looked like before it was crossed or before it mutated and that genetic was put out on the market. Now you can grow something many, many times. So let's say for instance, we got some ape. We could grow it thousands of times and maybe out of that thousand times, we might get one revert. But what some smart people did was they took that one revert that grows one out of a couple hundred or one out of a thousand, whatever it may be, and they started isolating it. They took a tissue sample, they started isolating it so that they could isolate the revert feature, which is really good because then we all get it at home, right? But one of the things that makes Melmac, Ape, and things like that so special isn't just the look of it, it's the potency. So a lot of you guys reach out to me and you're like, well, does it affect potency? If it reverts from its mutated form back to its regular form, does it affect potency? And the data is gonna speak for itself. So right here, we have some Enigma revert and we have some regular Enigma that was tested. Now these weren't grown on the same cake or anything like that. Now, when it came to testing, you guys could see the regular tested way, way higher during HPLC testing and the revert tested at almost half. So right here, we could see a big, big drop from the regular mutation to the revert. We're seeing a very significant drop. Now, what I'm gonna do for you guys, because we have some reverts and we have the mutation of Melmac on this cake uh, that I just showed you guys, I'm actually gonna send in one of the reverts and one of the regular shaped Melmacs for testing. This is gonna give us a good idea if there's a big variance in potency difference because these came off the same cake, these are in isolation, they were exposed to the same exact environment, grown on the same exact substrate, dehydrated the same way. Pretty much everything is identical except one is a revert and one is not. And we're gonna send it in, we're gonna test it out, and we're gonna see what the potency variance is. Now, if you guys wanna see the results, of that test, just go over to my Patreon because before the 15th of next month, those will be put up on Patreon for everybody to take a look at. Let's say reverts do see a significant drop off in alkaloids. We do see a significant drop off in potency. Does that make reverts just kind of a waste of time? Does it, is it even worth cultivating reverts? Yes and no, it depends on what you're cultivating for. If you're cultivating purely for potency, then maybe reverts are not the way for you to go. But the one positive about reverts is they tend to be more plentiful. So if you're going for quantity, reverts might be the way you wanna go. They tend to fill out a lot more and you, know, you tend to get a lot more weight. The typical Melmax, PEs, things like that, you can get nice flushes of them, but they tend to be more sporadic and spread out throughout a tub or a cake or a bag or whatever. But when you guys have the full body fruits, they can get in a lot closer and fill up a tub a lot better. So for the people that want potency, you're probably not gonna wanna cultivate reverts. For people that are genetic purists, that just wanna have that genetic in their library and keep it in rotation, maybe they're going for quantity or maybe they wanna start isolating from the original 
mushroom and start coming up with their own mutations and stuff like that, then maybe that's the way you want to go. You might want to go with the revert. I typically like to have one of the mutation or the hybrid and one of the revert if possible side by side in my spore library or in my genetic library. That way, if I ever have to do testing like I'm going to do with these right here, we can run them side by side. And now that we're getting into DNR and DNA sequencing, we're going to be able to tell the lineage a lot better if we have samples from the reverts plus the mutation or the hybrid. Another positive is reverts are usually much less picky. Um, they grow under less care under you know lower temperatures things like that when you're growing regular ape which is albino penis envy they do have some cons so apes ghost jack frost things like that they tend to blob which we call hypho blobbing if the temperature is too low we might just get mycelial blobbing all over the place but once we raise the temperature they'll start growing full fruits but with reverts and stuff like that, you typically don't see that. So anytime you see a genetics name plus the word revert at the end, that just means it's that genetic and it reverted to its original shape, not its mutation or anything like that. Revert is only associated really with full body fruits. You know, your typical mushroom, you got the stem, you got the veil, you got the cap. It's very, very normal looking mushroom. Whereas some of the other mushrooms that we adore and love in this community and grow for their potency or their beauty is typically mutations that have a little bit different of a look. You know, they're more bulbous. They typically don't have veils. They don't open up. They won't drop spores, stuff like that. But if you see the word revert, it typically means it reverted back to its original state. And that's what you're going to be getting. Now, is that something you want? You're going to have to make that decision for yourself. But as you guys can see, this is some rusty Melmac revert and it's absolutely beautiful. And the cool thing about this is it's not 100% isolated. So we're not just getting the reverts. We're also getting that typical, beautiful, bulbous Melmac fruits in there as well, which is going to be great because we're going to be able to test it and post the results up on Patreon. So if you guys like this new style of video, you guys want to see more videos like this, plus a whole bunch of others, make sure you guys go over to Patreon. I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button because without you guys, none of this is possible. I'm Willie Michael. Do good, be good, live good. Namaste.